Hi, greetings Tribe of the Love. I'm Chris Matson here in beautiful Kalamalka Provincial Park in BC. Uh, it's right outside of Vernon and it's a beautiful place here. The Okanagan Indians uh, called it Kalamalka, meaning beautiful lake or lake of many colors. Love, it's the word is bandied about so much. I I love this restaurant. I love this this place. I love this. I love that. Uh, I loved my vacation. It was lovely. Look at the stars. Aren't they lovely? On and on. I'm in love with this person. Uh, the, the Greek language has a beautiful way of describing different types of love. And with the tribe of love, and, and love itself, the type of love that, that I discuss, it's really a capital L uh, to differentiate it from, from other types of love. And uh, the name that the Greeks use is agape, A-G-A-P-E. And what it really means, this type of love, it's a love that never changes. It, it's, it's always constant. It forever and shall be this, this constant nor is it attached to any sort of a belief system or judgment or right or wrong. Love only sees love. Love is love. Love only gives love. When, and by only, I, I really mean everything. In the Tao it says basically that... Uh, the Tao itself is, is nothing, but yet everything moves and has its being through this seeming nothingness. I like to think of it uh, like this lake here. If we thought of the lake uh, as love, we could think that the water itself is water. It's, that's what its essence is. And so with this water, it's not going to make a big wave and hit me because uh, I have a certain belief system or I'm uh, ignoring it or whatever else. Love is simply love in the agape sense. Now this love is within our essence. It's who we are and uh, it permeates all that is. If you're in a meditation and you're in this place of, of uh, lucid stillness, that's really you're 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 immersed in and and are one with love. Now love can trigger emotional responses. Like I can feel bliss in a meditation or whatever, or I could feel just this ecstasy or this this knowing that you know uh, an awakened knowing. All of these things are great. They are effects of love. Love itself is simply, it's a neutral place. So like a lot of times in a meditation, I'm very grateful and thankful that these bliss feelings are not part of my experience at this moment because it allows me to be in a place of just being, uh, of the being of love. And it, it's like a fountain. It, it's like the sun itself shining forth from your heart. It's like uh, all of infinity with, and you're one with it. You are it. It is. And, and there's not an emotion attached to it or a feeling or a belief. It's simply a place of being. And so with agape love we can say it's a place of being. So if you're thinking, oh, I have to have this big experience and this big aha uh, to be awakened and know love, that no, that's, that's not it. it. It's so simple and it's so with you. Love is closer to you than your own body. Love is you when you, well, not when, it, it always is, but you see it. You are aware of it. You are awaken to it when you focus your attention on it. 
It's like if I have a bank account, uh, it really doesn't matter if I'm charged up about it, excited about it, or whatever. It simply is. I have a bank account, and I have this money within it. I can go withdraw from that bank account at any time. Uh, and it's the same sense with, with love. Is that the only difference, though, is your bank account <laughs> is infinite. It's And it's everlasting. It's always in every moment it's yours, you can just, ah, this moment. And you can do that your whole life, in every moment of being this love. And now the essence of you knows exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to go into this big thing of, this is what love is within your being, because you know it. Uh, you are this love. And how beautiful is that? People talk about in relationships so that I'm, I, I love you. I love you. And um, that's not necessarily or isn't agape love. Uh, I remember how, how many people do we know that are married. Uh, when they're getting married, it's I love you, I love you, I love you. And then at some point in the future, it's, no, I don't love you. I don't love you. Uh, divorces and everything else, and which there's nothing wrong with that. But, but let's differentiate agape love versus that type of love. It can be a very deep spiritual love even, uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's agape love. A lot of times in uh, relationships, what happens or in dynamics of human experience, one person falls in love with somebody, the other person is not in love with them. And in these sort of cases, or else both are growing into an attachment, then things are splitting them apart. In all of these cases, how you can best serve your own heart and the heart of those around you is, I release you in agape love. I surrender. I know that all that which I require and was seeking through you or thought that I could somehow obtain if you were in relationship with me, I already have that. It's already mine. So I release you to go further on your journey. And in doing those things, uh, further what occurs in people's lives is that other people's stuff is their stuff. Like like if I have uh, a woman that's saying, Chris, I love you, I love you, I love you, and, and you know, I'm, I'm not in love with her, uh, it doesn't matter how much she jumps up and downs or tries to entice me or whatever, I'm not in love. So I have to be authentic and as truthful and integrity with my heart with that person and exactly and and it's up to them though whether they release me in that agape love and in the very same token if if I become attached to a woman I oh my god she's everything I've ever wanted and she's available etc but you know she goes Chris you know I'm not resonating there it's it, you're not the cards don't have it out for us you know fine that's beautiful, you know. I honor your beauty and, and thank you. I'm so grateful that you're on the planet with such beauty. I release you. And now, in doing this, you know, you know the, the thing is you didn't have the person anyway. There's no such thing as ownership of a person. And so what are you releasing to is not actually going, oh, you know, I'm going to let you go. You never had them to let go to begin with. What the releasing is, is within your own heart. You're releasing what you know is not to be for something that's even coming that's greater. Love itself has everything awaiting you in this beautiful moment. You already have it all. You don't have to be sitting there thinking, you know, that if this person comes around or this situation, then my life will be more 
fulfilled. It, it won't be more fulfilled. It will be different. There will be an emerging. And if that, you know, providing that uh, you're celebrating now as you should, which is being a gappy love in every moment. And that's about it for a gappy love at this moment. Of course, books and books and books can be written on it. And who knows, maybe you might be one to do it. What I do know is, I, agape, love you. Namaste.